Chicago resident Whitney Melcori would never call herself a runner. I played tennis, but running was never really my thing. But this fall, she will compete in the Chicago Marathon, her first ever. It's a new experience, but it's been great. I feel really good. I feel a lot healthier already. And it's nice to come out by the lake and have some peace and quiet while I'm running. Whitney almost didn't get into the race, though. It filled up at a record pace this year. So Whitney found a charity group she wanted to support and is now running with the nonprofit chiropractic organization. I went back and forth for weeks and I was like, maybe I'll do it. No, I don't want to do it. OK, I'm ready. And when I was finally ready, I was really bummed that it was full. The number of people running in marathons rose 10% last year. That's a large increase in 25 years. And this Chicago running store has witnessed the change firsthand. It's become you know, uh, something that people really want to be involved with and that when they finish, they can really feel good about. All right you know, their accomplishment, because it is, it's an accomplishment to do 26.2 miles. For Whitney, that accomplishment will be a result of many months of hard work. The first couple weeks, um, I do shorter runs, anywhere between like three and five miles. Then it picks up more closer to like 15 on my longest runs, and then it starts to really pick up, and my longest run will be close to 23 miles before the marathon. Mm -hmm. But that's down the road. <laughs> and even though the work is tough, it will be worth it at the end. It's time consuming, but it's going to be amazing to cross the finish line. Chicago's marathon takes place in October. More than 45,000 people are expected to run. Lisa Owad, Northwestern News Network.